Hey, what's going on, everyone? Curious Wanderer here. I uh, had a script, but I lost the script, and I don't feel like trying to type out another one. So, we're just going to go with it. Um, this is the uh, first video that I have recorded since moving into my new apartment, and as such, it's kind of a special video for me because uh, about seven months of dealing with the most horrible internet you can imagine has come to an end. And now I finally have decent internet. Uh, you'll notice that 4K is once again an available option on my videos. So, anyway, this is also a video that I uh, was hoping I would never have to make. But there is something I need to talk to you guys about. And that is the latest episode of the Orville uh, New Horizons, Episode 5. Uh, I feel it got way too heavy-handed with its messaging. So, what do I mean by that? Well, in Season 1, the third episode um, of the Orville, a Mocklin couple, and the Mocklins are basically the Orville's version of the Klingons, and they're an all-male species. So, uh, a Mocklin couple, they had a child who was born female. Now, in uh, Mocklin society, uh, females are an aberration. They serve no purpose. They're social outcasts. And so when uh, a Mocklin child is born female, it is immediately changed to male. So uh, one of the parents wanted this child changed to a being a female, and the other one did not. So they had this argument it went to Mocklin Court, and the court ruled that the child would be changed to a female. That was in episode one of season... Uh, I'm sorry, episode three of season one, rather. Well, now in episode five of season three, we are once again revisiting this topic of the... Uh, I'll just call it transgender child, whose name is Topa. And uh, Topa is not well. Topa is feeling like um, she is not herself. I'll call her she because ultimately uh, Topa was changed back to a female in this episode. She feels like she's not herself, uh, that something's wrong. She's not happy. She's trying to figure out how to be happy. Um, and she's even making inquiries uh, of certain crew members uh you know what you know she's asking what's it like to be dead so the first officer kelly um who was the person that she uh, topa first came forward to, uh to with these thoughts and feelings um is very concerned and uh, she goes and talks to topa's parents and ask, have they discussed telling her that she was born female? And one of the parents says, you know, he absolutely does not want to tell her. The other one says uh, that he does want to tell her. And so they've been having this argument back and forth. Uh, eventually, the truth comes to light. And Topa... Um, when the option is offered to go back to being female, says that is what she wants to do. So, um, I guess the reason I think it was too heavy-handed in its messaging is because uh, it focuses squarely on this transgender issue that is currently all the rage in society right now. Uh, I, I don't quite know how to put it like like kelly starts calling topa she uh before she's even turned back to being female um topa's parents ask the question you know can a child her age even make such a decision and then the crew of the orville counters with well normally no but she was female to begin with and uh you know just all of this rhetoric and dialogue that, that sounds like it could have been lifted uh, directly from like a present day 
drama based on real life instead of a sci-fi universe. Uh, I feel like with just a few minor tweaks, it could have been put into a drama based on the real world, and no one would know the difference. Uh, I actually agreed with the message here, the message being that Topa should never have been changed to being male from female, uh, that people who are transgender, you know, who try to change themselves into something they aren't, they often have very poor mental health, uh, they deal with a lot of stress and anxiety, and there's a high suicide rate. I think the ultimate message is what happened to Topa was wrong. Uh, she was changed back to what she was supposed to be. And, I mean, I agree with all of that. And don't get me wrong, it's it's not like a typical woke show where um, the characters are um, there just to be there. You know, a homosexual just to have homosexual representation. Um, you know, a uh, non-white person just to have non-white representation, blah, blah, blah. These are all characters who have been developed over time. They've been fleshed out. They have their own personalities. They have their own struggles. It it was, I hate to say it, it was well done. I, I thought it was well done. But the message, mm, the message was just too strong. Um, allegory is a tool, a very powerful tool that was used in Star Trek a lot to uh, examine real life issues, but in a way that was very divorced from reality. Uh, it, it was a way of examining things and then the story uh, you know, could still be fun and entertaining and, and not seem really ham-fisted. And uh, I, I feel like when it comes to allegory and quality of writing, the people behind the Orville are good, but they're not old Star Trek good. And uh, <laughs> I just, I really hope that going forward, the Orville will be more focused on other things like you know, exploring space, uh, the ongoing battle with the Kalon, the Krill Alliance, all of that stuff. Um, yeah, I, it was it was a well done. Uh, non, I don't know if I would call it non woke, but it 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 was done in a way that kind kind of made you invested in what was going on. But um, I will, even if I agree with the message, I will remain firm on my stance that when I consume entertainment, I am looking to be entertained, uh, not preached at, even if I agree with the message. So um, that's pretty much it. That's my uh, semi review. I, I'm no review expert, I usually don't do reviews. Uh, but. I really hope this doesn't start being a trend in the Orville, because uh, I would hate to see it depart from, you know, the fun stuff and start zeroing in on all kinds of social issues. So, anyway, uh, that is everything. Thanks for watching, and you have a great day. Bye-bye.